welcome back to another exciting installment of Extreme Ghost Hunting. Today, we're going to find a ghost, and we're going to capture it on the internet. I love the internet. My Extreme Ghost Hunting information bubble has brought me to this town, where people say that there might or might not be ghosts. We're gonna figure it out. This beard, by the way, completely real. Don't question me. Don't, don't question the beard. They say these very steps are haunted by the ghost of a boy with no legs who fell down all the stairs and then indeed died mysteriously. Uh, my friend Joe told me that. He's a, he's a really good guy. You could trust him. His friend told him that. He, he told me you can trust him, too. <gasps> a moth! If that's not a sign of a haunting, I don't know what is. We have come across our next clue of haunting shenanigans. A used cigarette carton. This can only mean one thing. Analysis. Someone was smoking. It's been hours since our last clue, the cigarette box was found, but I am determined. And look what I found. Apartments 600 to 700. In between these numbers, there must be a very familiar number. 665, 666, six, 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 I mean, three sixes. And that is the number for ghosts, or the devil, or something bad. We finally found building 600. Let's find out where that ghost room is. Let's see here, first, second, fourth, third, wait, wait a minute. Where's 666? Six, six, six. Oh, I... I guess it doesn't go up that high. Oh, well, we'll do a look at that. Uh, I thought that was a ghost from far away, but it's actually just like a sheet to cover up a motorcycle. But we were close. We were just walking along this haunted trail when we came across vandalism of the ghostly sort. It seems like these ghosts wanted to get down into this grassy field. We would investigate further, but we don't we don't want to get in trouble. That would be bad. We don't want to we don't want to do that. It looks like somebody doesn't want us going through here. Mm, I can only speculate as to why. Only answer is ghosts. There are some spooky ghost biz behind this gate. And the man doesn't want us to find it. Because, because the man is stupid. Ooh, come here. What's this, huh? Huh? Amity Fence Incorporated. Never heard of them before. I did some research, and it turns out that that fence company is completely legitimate. No ghosts there. No, they say on the internet that this place is infamous for its haunted garbage disposal things, box scans. So I'm gonna take a look inside for ghosts. Stand back, but not really. Oh man, no ghosts, just a dead body. Every single one, every single ghost hunt I've ever done, nothing, nothing.